Hello and welcome back to Cisco Next Generation Firewall and ASAV and Amazon Web Services. Um, my name is Anupav and in this video I will talk about Amazon Web Services at a very high level. I won't be covering all the components and all the services of Amazon Web Services as part of this video series. I will focus on networking portion so how you can secure uh, your network using uh, Cisco security devices like ASA or next generation firewall before I do that let me talk a little bit about Amazon web services and various services available within Amazon web services now Amazon uh, web services or AWS is a secure cloud services platform offering services like compute database storage and there is a long list or a huge list of services provided by AWS now on the right hand side you will see a few services which I have listed because most of the videos in this video series would be dependent on these services the most important uh, service that I will cover in this video series is uh, is virtual private cloud um, now what is virtual private cloud it is a uh, virtual isolated environment within public cloud AWS. I will cover that in the upcoming slide. Apart from that, important services, a uh, service that you need is EC2 instance. Now, EC2 instance is equivalent to uh, VM running on hypervisors in private cloud. So when you talk about your virtual machine in Amazon Web Services, you talk about EC2 instance. Now, if you want to deploy ASA, it is deployed as uh, um, EC2 instance, even FMC, even next generation firewall, all the components are deployed as EC2 instance within Amazon Web Services. Apart from that, it is very important to understand uh, various load balancers. So I would be covering uh, ELB, Elastic Load Balancer, Application Load Balancer, um, and Network Load Balancer, and VPN is a key use case for AWS environment because uh, you will see customers uh, connecting their uh, on-premise uh, data center using VPN uh, with their cloud environment or uh, their remote access users would use RE VPN to connect back to AWS cloud. So these are the key uh, uh, services I would be focusing on. So um, let's begin with VPC and uh, I will not cover all the services one by one in this video because I want to keep this video series a little bit short and just to give you um, some idea of what kind of services is available so uh, I will just cover uh, e each component at a very high level so now if you look at this particular environment um, uh, I tried covering uh, virtual private cloud at a very high level now, uh, what is the virtual private cloud? Uh, it, is, uh, it is a virtual network dedicated to your AWS account. And uh, what are the key benefits you get out of uh, VPC is you have full control over your IP address scheme, your subnet, your route table, your network gateways, and security settings. So um, uh, when you deploy VPC um, uh, in AWS, uh, it is equivalent to your um, uh, classical network in the data center, like like you have full control of uh, all the things, uh, all the things related to your network. You have full access uh, to all the um, uh, the uh, uh, all the things like IP uh, IPs, IP addresses, subnets, and route tables, uh, network gateways, and security settings as well. Now, if you look at this diagram right there, uh, we have. Uh, VPC created uh, in my uh, Amazon Web Services account and it is associated to my uh, AWS account. Now within VPC I have uh, I have uh, re, uh, I have availability zones availability zone A availability zone B. Uh, in order to maintain um, high availability I can provision multiple uh, workloads while in each uh, availability zone in case one availability is not re availability zone is not reachable I can still provide services using another availability zone there are uh, regions as well so in, in, in my VPC can be created in a region uh, like we have a region uh, in US Canada uh, uh, Australia uh, 
and the other locations are Europe. So uh, those are regions and within regions there are multiple availability zones. So now other important thing is a route table. So using route table you can uh, forward your traffic to um, the, uh, the required de device and uh, uh, you can add routes in the route table the way you do on the uh, on-prem routers, right? So you can use that a, as a routing device which will uh, receive traffic and route traffic to the next uh, to the next hop and it will forward traffic accordingly. Um, there is um, another uh, important components within uh, within VPC, which is known as Internet Gateway. If you want to provide internet to your subnets, uh, you can uh, create Internet Gateway and associate that in the in the route table. Now, if you look at the main route table here in this box, the green green line that you see is a default route, and next hop is Internet Gateway. So. Uh, this is uh, what the VPC is at a very high level. Apart from this, uh, if you look at this particular uh, diagram here, uh, I added a uh, few more components uh, like virtual private gateway. So it is a VPN gateway using which you will connect back to your on-prem uh, data center. Um, and uh, on the uh, corporate network, you have your uh, customer gateway it can be uh, ASA or uh, next generation firewall there and uh, on public cloud side you can replace a uh, virtual private gateway with um, Cisco ASA or Cisco next generation firewall as well so uh, depending upon your requirement you can add uh, virtual firewalls um, when you add next generation firewall uh, not you not only get functionality of vpn you also get functionality of ips you are filtering and amp amp is advanced malware protection so you can enable that and uh, you can uh, secure your network by adding cisco security firewalls there so um, this is about um, uh, the at the very high level uh, introduction of AWS. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for part four.